here we continue the next uh, point properties of reciprocal lattice part second here we explain some properties of reciprocal lattice the first one is every reciprocal lattice vector is normal to the plane of crystal lattice that is d star hkl dot vector c must vanish the proof of that property we discuss in detail in the next slide second is the magnitude of reciprocal lattice vector is equal to reciprocal of interplanar spacing in a real crystal that is magnitude of reciprocal lattice vector that is d star hkl is equal to 1 by dhkl that also we we'll prove in detail here we explain the proof of every reciprocal lattice vector is normal to the plane of crystal lattice that is d star hkl dot any vector lies in plane of crystal lattice must vanish for that we choose a direct lattice plane along the three crystallographic axes that is a b and c in the three crystallographic axes we choose a direct lattice plane that is p q r which intersect at a distance a by h along a axis b by k along b axis and c by l along c axis this plane which contain the vectors a b and c now we draw normal to the plane p q r which is drawn from the origin o that normal is o s and it is at a distance equal to d h k l if we draw reciprocal lattice vector along the same normal which must be at a distance equal to 1 by d h k l that is d star h k l and therefore reciprocal lattice vector along the normal to the plane p q r that is d star h k l and any vector lies on the plane vector c or vector a we just write the dot product of the two vectors and that dot product if get vanish then we prove reciprocal lattice vector must be normal to the plane of crystal lattice here the second important property the magnitude of reciprocal lattice vector is always equal to 1 by dhkl that property we also prove using the same geometry for that we join normal os and sp along the a axis therefore the normal makes an angle phi that geometry which helps to prove magnitude of reciprocal lattice vector is equal to 1 by dhkl that property we prove in the next slide before that we discuss this property hence we choose the triangle oqp in that triangle op is equal to oq plus qp where op is a by h o q is b by k and q p is vector c here we find what is the result of the scalar product of reciprocal lattice vector d star h k l and any vector which lies in the plane p q r that vector may be vector c or vector a hence we find d star hkl dot 
vector c its value we find if we substitute d star hkl and vector c and take the dot product of the two brackets we get the result where d star hkl is equal to h into a star plus k into b star plus l into c star and vector c from that triangle we separate a by h minus b by k that bracket we put here now we simplify this dot product of the two brackets for that a by h multiplied by the bracket h into a star plus k into b star plus l into c star this is the first term second term we write b by k dot of the same bracket hence b by k dot h into a star plus k b star plus l c star now simplify the two brackets if we simplify the two brackets we use the earlier identities vector a dot vector a star that we prove earlier it is one but vector a dot vector b star or vector a dot vector c star this is zero same as here vector b dot vector a star is zero vector b dot vector b star is again one vector b dot vector c is zero using these identities we find the first term a by h dot h a star what it shows a dot a star is one h by h is one therefore it simply we write one one plus a by h dot k b star zero a by h dot l c star again zero therefore the first term represent only the term one Similarly, second bracket vector b by k dot h a star zero vector b by k dot k b star one since b dot b star is one k numerator denominator gets cancelled we get one. Similarly, third term b by k dot l c star again zero. Therefore, the value of the second bracket is again one, and therefore we get the simplified term h by h plus 0 plus 0 here is 1 for first bracket second bracket we write k dot k by k 1 plus 0 plus 0 1 minus 1 0 and we get the result 0 therefore d star hkl dot c must be equal to 0 or d star hkl dot a must be equal to 0. It shows that d star hkl is normal to the vector c and vector a which lies in the plane p q r. Hence d star hkl is also normal to the plane hkl itself that is d star hk is normal to the vector c as well as vector a star therefore d star hkl is again normal to the plane hkl itself and that is the proof second property the magnitude of reciprocal lattice vector is equal to 1 by dhkl that we prove using the earlier figure. Here we choose if n is the unit vector normal to the plane hkl or it is parallel to d star hkl. Since normal to the plane pqr we represent by unit vector n and it is parallel to the d star hkl that unit vector we define here n is equal to d star hkl divided by magnitude of reciprocal lattice vector that is d star hkl here we substitute d star hkl 
h a star plus k b star plus l c star divided by we keep the magnitude as it is magnitude d star h k l this is the value of unit vector normal to the plane h k l now we use the triangle o s p in the earlier figure here we simplify the cos phi cos phi is the ratio of os by op os is the normal drawn from origin to the point s to the plane hkl and op the plane which intersect along a axis at a distance equal to a by h this is the op length of op which is equal to vector a by h and os is at a distance equal to d h k l therefore cos phi equal to we get d h k l by a by h here we simplify d h k l from that relation a by h into cos phi but a by h cos phi it is the result of the dot product of the two vectors which are the two vector one is vector a by h and other vector is normal to the plane pqr os that is the represented by the unit vector n since unit vector n is parallel to d star hkl is a by h dot n and if we simplify the dot product of the two vectors we get a by h n cos phi where n is unit therefore we get simply a by h cos phi hence a by h cos phi its value we write in terms of the scalar product of the two vector a by h dot n hence simplify the relation d h k l is equal to a by h dot n where unit vector n that we simplify it that value you know hence put the value directly here and simplify d h k l is d h k l is equal to a by h dot n value is h a star plus k b star plus l c star divided by magnitude d star h k l if we simplify the dot product of the two terms here again a dot a star is 1 a dot b star is 0 a dot c star is 0 therefore dot product of second term third term is 0 only we get a dot a is 1 h numerator denominator 1 only remaining term is 1 divided by d star h k l second term third term is 0 and therefore d h k l it represent the interplanar spacing length for the plane h k l that interplanar spacer spacing which is at a distance equal to 1 by d star h k l it means the magnitude of reciprocal lattice vector is equal to 1 by d h k l we take the this terms on the other side therefore d is magnitude d star h k l is equal to 1 by d h k l and that is the proof of that property